Well, we said just a couple of weeks ago that if Tennessee could go three and one in their last four games, they might be in position to get a one seed. Might need a little help. Thank you very much, USC, for knocking off Arizona. But here comes North Carolina. We'll talk about the SEC tournament. We'll talk about Tennessee baseball. Coming up next on the Volunteer Club Locker Room, powered by Spire Sports, this is The Player Show. Choking up just a little bit there, but I'm okay. Don't worry about it. Mark Packer along with uh, T. Jones live. Uh, Swain did not get the memo about wearing the light blue jackets North tonight. North Carolina? <laughs> Johnson <laughs> University. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, gotcha. There's the shameless plug. <laughs> okay, so with that said, Tennessee finishes the season, SEC regular season champions, number one seed in the SEC tournament. You, you head off to, to Nashville for that. Arizona loses to USC. Is Tennessee still in the mix to be one seed unless North Carolina wins the ACC? No, they're still in the mix. All they got to do is, is I think they, they don't even have to get to the finals. If they lose in the semis, I still think they'll be a number one seed. Even if North Carolina wins the ACC tournament with six losses, having beat Tennessee, and if Tennessee loses a game in the SEC tournament, they would have eight losses. And you're going to tell me Tennessee still gets in ahead of North Carolina as a one seed? That's when it gets dicey, Jason. That's when it gets dicey. Sure, the schedule should play well for Tennessee. No one has played the last four games in the country that Tennessee has played. Sure. And you're not going to play the same quality opponents back to back to back to back at any point in the tournament either. And yeah. Tennessee went 3-1 in the last four. That should matter. So you look at it now and you see that if Tennessee and Kentucky take care of their business starting on Friday, Friday and Saturday, got some got to get past Auburn somewhere in there, Alabama, South Carolina. But if it goes chalk and the one and two seeds go, that final on Sunday would be Tennessee, Kentucky round three. Round three. Um, I mean, um, Tennessee would have to beat uh, either South Carolina or Auburn if everything goes chalk, just like you said, because Auburn and, and South Carolina will be playing uh, in the quarters, and then Tennessee hopefully will be able to knock off the, the winner of uh, Mississippi State and who do they play? LSU. They're playing LSU. Uh, so if it goes chalk, I think that's a tough game. That's, that's a tough game, and Kentucky would have to play uh, Alabama if it goes chalk. Jason, I've got a concern. I, I have talked this season about what made me feel good about Tennessee going into postseason play is that if one player wasn't playing well, there are enough other players to take up the slack. I think I need to roll that back a little bit. Oh, man. Because right now, they are so dependent on Dalton Connect that if somebody shuts Connect down, I'm concerned right now. Should I not be? You shouldn't be. First of all, you can't shut Dalton Connect down. You can only <laughs> hope to contain him. Okay. <laughs> and with number that, one. he's jinxed. Yeah. But no, keep going. No, number two, Tennessee scored 103 points versus Kentucky, and Dalton Connect had 16 points which was well below his average. Okay. So this team is capable of putting up points outside of Don Connect. Okay. We have seen Don Connect take over in games where Tennessee was down. Right. And you needed Don Connect to go on a shooting spree. You didn't and he did. ne you didn't need him to stay in games. Tennessee went to Don Connect versus Auburn because yeah. he was hot. You go to the hot guy. This team is capable of winning outside Don Connect. I just think that's a false narrative right now that this team is a one-man team. Sorry, I, my, my bad. <laughs> I think Jason used the operative word, capable. They are capable. But the last two games, the bench has only scored five that, points that's, coming that's off a, the bench. That's a, that's a and that, and, and that, yeah. that, could, that could be very problematic moving forward in the SEC tournament, and especially in the big boy tournament, the NCAA tournament, where it's all the marbles, where it only takes one game for you to lose, and then you're done. Uh, obviously, against South Carolina, uh, we came out, uh, played really well. Defense traveled. We, 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 we controlled South Carolina on the defensive end. They couldn't score. Uh, Moochie Johnson uh, scored 18 points, but he was 0 for 7, 0 for 7 from 3, and B.J. Mack was held under uh, his scoring average also. You got to have Josiah Jordan James yeah. and Santiago Vescovi making shots. That's about to be my next like question. If you don't have those guys making shots, you can't afford to have your bench uh, struggle that, that way. I'm concerned with, with Vescovy. Only two points against South Carolina. Didn't score He's against disappeared. Kentucky. Just didn't score against Kentucky. Yeah. And, 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 and Rick had to take him off the court because 
Kentucky, they was just hooping. And when they found a matchup, uh, whether it was uh, Shepard or whether it was, uh, what's the other kid's Reeves. name? Reeves. Or, or Edwards. Edwards. Edwards was balling yesterday. They was finding Vescovy, and, and they, was, uh, they was driving him downhill and scoring the ball. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit more about that, about if, if there's one guy that we really need to step up now that we're heading to March Madness, who is that guy? We'll talk about that next. As we go to break, though, the opportunity for you to support the initiative that is the NIL at Tennessee. Scan the QR code. Be a member of the Volunteer Club today. You get autographs on a regular basis from your favorite players, access to tailgates and special events. That's by being a member of the Volunteer Club. We've got a baseball player in studio. He's been jacking baseballs out of the park left and right. By the way, they're hot as well. That's coming up next on the Volunteer Club Locker Room. The Volunteer Club Locker Room is brought to you by The Volunteer Club. Real Vol fans are members of The Volunteer Club. Food City, Exterior Home Solutions, Lincoln Memorial University, Glass Doctor, and Garza Law. Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our certified butchers for great recipe tips. This is an authentic butcher shop where meat is hand cut in store Beef is ground fresh daily, and expert advice from a certified butcher is always free of charge. <laughs> free advice? That's what I call value. The quality I crave, the value I count on. Nobody does food like Food City. Abraham Lincoln knew the power of an open door. He invited the public into the White House throughout his presidency because he understood open doors lead to new possibilities, new opportunities, and new discoveries. At LMU, our mission is to open doors for every student who comes here so they can become everything they're meant to be. Come discover how we can open doors for you. You know, life happens and damage to your home can be extremely stressful. That's why it's important to find someone who offers efficient, quality work with financing options. Exterior Home Solutions, they value not only family, but community. And they're who I call when life happens, and you should too. Safety, integrity, reliability, more people trust the Joe Newbert family to return their vehicle back to its original condition or better. Only Joe Newbert Collision Centers offer pickup and delivery, worry-free insurance claim handling, and guaranteed repairs for as long as you own your vehicle. Insist on locally owned Joe Newbert Collision Centers. And drive safely out there. Your roof, it's the most important protection against nature for your home or your business. That's why I trust the experts at Exterior Home Solutions. Here, certified butchers freshly grind beef, marking the time it was ground, not just the day. Nobody does food like Food City. All right, so we look now, what is the play of the week brought to you by Garza Law? Well, it's that right there, Dalton Connect on the road at South Carolina on the inbounds, goes high, makes the slam, pushes the lead out to 12 for Tennessee, and they win the SEC regular season championship that night. And that is brought to you by Garza Law. Okay, guys, so. Oh, you're, you're lifting your hand like you want to say something. Yeah, Go ahead. Th these these other, under out-of-bounds plays, we call them blobs, baseline <laughs> out-of-bounds plays. Tennessee scored religiously against South Carolina on them. Uh, Dalton got a dunk. Uh, he came off a double stagger and made a three, got fouled, which w eventually became a four-point play, and then he made a field goal off of that. So in my estimation, I mean, if I'm coaching, um, Lamont, you got to do a better job of going over to scout and taking away Dalton Connect on the out-of-bounds plays. Man, how does teams still get killed by that? It is March, and Tennessee's been doing that all year long. Yeah. It blows my mind. Okay, so so hang on. I got about two minutes here okay. before we bring in Dean Curley. We talk about baseball for a little bit. Uh, is we go into the NCAA tournament, the SEC tournament first, then NCAA tournament. Uh, which player do you think has to step up the most for Tennessee to make a run? Is it Santi? Is it Meshack? Is it Triple J? 
I think. Uh, I mean, all three. V I get it. I get it. I mean, D, all the above. But but, but Vescovy, Vescovy has to be able to hit open shots, and Triple J has to be able to play um, a, a versatile game, which he's capable of doing. And then the game against Kentucky down in Lexington, he scored what twenty eight points yeah, in, in that game. So he's capable. I think those two. I don't think you want to put a lot of pressure on May Shack or, or Walker, or one of those guys coming off the bench, Jason. Yeah, it's Josiah Jordan James or Santi for sure. I mean. Uh, JJ Jay had a career high versus Kentucky. We saw yep. in the last month or so, he had a, tri he had a double double, had 13 rebounds in the game, uh, hit, hit double figures. Santi has to make open shots. I think those two guys are very, very important. So we got about a minute till we bring in Dean. We, we have talked about <clears throat> over the years that the SEC tournament doesn't mean anything, it doesn't matter. I would argue that point this year because I think when you're fighting for a one seed, when you've got Arizona over there in the Pac-12 and you've got North Carolina in the ACC, I think winning the SEC tur tournament does have value this year. Am it's, I wrong? No, it's a ring. It's a <laughs> ring. It's something that that is, goes down in history. You know, you win an SEC tournament championship. And the way people will say, well, Tennessee didn't have nothing to play for. They had something to play for. They wanted to send those seniors out on a high note. Right. And Kentucky wanted to come in and, and get revenge from the beatdown that Tennessee gave them in Lexington. Each and every game in Nashville is going to be a dogfight, and each and every team wants to win that tournament. Okay. Jason agrees. I can tell by the look on his face. Just, I, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. What he said. <laughs> okay, so we're going to bring in Dean Curley now from the 16 and 1 Tennessee baseball team. He is a, uh, a shortstop, or the shortstop, I should say. Dean, first off, you come over here from California. I hear more and more about athletes coming from California. W what enticed you about Tennessee? Honestly, just the conference. The conference, you know, it's the best conference in the country. Uh, best players, best staff, best best top to bottom. And uh, if you want to be the best, you got to play with the best and be comfortable being uncomfortable. Dean, um, you have a reputation of, of, of going long, uh, hitting the ball out of the park. Whose game would you model yourself after at, at the shortstop position? Mm. Um, I'd say I'm a right-handed hitting, like Corey Seager almost kind of a bigger shortstop. Hmm. Uh, they hit for power as well as contact, but uh, the defender, I mean, defense such a big role and uh, you know, just seeing the ball really well right now and hitting him hard. That's a good one. He's making a whole lot of money. All right, so we're going to send Swain over there for the Food City Player Perspective when we come back in the Volunteer Club Locker Room. The Volunteer Club Locker Room is brought to you by Ted Russell Ford. KOC, the official orthopedic partner of University of Tennessee Athletics, Better Mattress, Commercial Bank, Pilot, and KnoxvilleSmiles.com. You know, life happens, and damage to your home can be extremely stressful. That's why it's important to find someone who offers efficient, quality work with financing options. Exterior Home Solutions, they value not only family, but community. And they're who I call when life happens, you should too. A typical insurance? You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I finally feel in control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to healthcare. I'm an owner. I am an owner. I'm an owner. And we're locally owned. Gray Hodges has been serving the Knoxville area with quality craft made cabinetry for over seven decades now. Craft made manufactures high quality kitchen and bath cabinets in a wide variety of finishes with modern and traditional styles to choose from. Visit one of our four locations and let a Gray Hodges owner show you the perfect craft made design to fit your needs. Gray Hodges, employee owned, service perfect. Matlock Tire Service and Auto Repair is proud to be celebrating 70 years of serving East Tennessee. That's 70 years of old school customer service, trustworthy auto repair, and of course, great deals on tires. Each one of our five convenient East Tennessee locations feature family-friendly waiting areas, and you can schedule appointments and search for tires right on our website at matlocktireservice.com. Modern convenience, hometown values. For 70 years and counting, Matlock Tire Service and Auto Repair. When you're 6'4 and 320 pounds like I am, 
finding a mattress is a challenge. That's why I went to Better Mattress for help. It's not about just selling big store brands. At Better Mattress, it's about making a mattress that fits the person's body type and their personal preferences. Look, after a big football game, this body is tired and sore. I have to have a mattress that helps me rest and rejuvenate. Big O and Better Mattress. Good night, just got better. Your roof, it's the most important protection against nature for your home or your business. That's why I trust the experts at Exterior Home Solutions. All right, time now for the Food City Player Perspective. Uh, we'll toss over there for just a second. But first off, I don't know that there have been a lot of times in Tennessee sports history, I'll be corrected, I'm sure, by Swain, but where they're having success in every sport like they are right now. Baseball, they're 16 and 1, and they're getting it done. <laughs> They're, they're flat getting it done. Swain's over there. He's got his hands up in the air like he's questioning me. I mean, do you disagree? I mean, right now, they're balling in everything. No, absolutely. And here with Dean Curley, um, Dean, I, would talk, I was talking to you a little bit before uh, our segment. You know, when I played, it was just really football. Now it's football, it's basketball, it's baseball. Everyone's competing for a championship. Uh, do you feel like there's some pressure for you guys to win a championship first? Uh, no. no. No, no pressure at all. I mean, I feel like it encourages, honestly. I mean, Sharks, you got to be the best. You yeah. can't think, oh, there's a lot of pressure. It's, we do a good job staying calm and not worrying about that. You were committed to USC for a little bit. The staff gets fired. Tony reaches out. You guys connect. Uh, you pitched a little bit in high school, but you know, not that much to really uh, consider pitching at the collegiate level. What does it take to be a really, really good shortstop? at this level, in your opinion? Um, I think the mental game's the biggest part. I mean, it's a lot of pressure, a lot of people out there, and it's just being able to stay calm, be able to remember plays, remember just being where your feet are, not trying to do too much. What's been the biggest adjustment, the biggest thing you've really had to overcome going from high school to college and going from California all the way here to Tennessee? Um, I'd say, I mean, most notable would be the competition. Yeah. I mean, competition's incredible out here, and uh, honestly, the weather. Um, as much as sound, I mean, California, it's sunny, it's clear skies all day. Here, I mean, the fall, it's like even our game on Saturday, it's raining. There's rain delays, we're still playing through it. I mean, you don't do that in California. It drips rain, it's games canceled. Have you experienced any adversity yet in your young season? Yes. Um, I was out, I started out of the beginning of the season with my hamstring. I'd hurt my hamstring, so I missed the first, first four games, but just took my time recovering and was able to come back. Usually as a freshman, you, you try to latch on to one of the older guys, kind of know kind of what to do, what not to do. Right. Who's been that guy for you on this baseball team? I mean, honestly, it's been in the whole team. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone's there giving advice. Um, but Christian Moore, Billy Amick spend the most time. I was bouncing around the left side of the infield in the fall. Billy at third, Simo at short. I mean, it's kind of just picking their brains all day. Have the guys that have been here, played in big games, played in the World Series, have they been able to talk to you about kind of what to expect coming up once conference play starts? 100%. I mean, that's kind of been a thing since the summer, since the fall, just preparation. Uh, the older guys done a great job preparing us and uh, kind of giving us a taste of what it's going to be like. So it's been really cool. Is there a team on the schedule that you're looking forward to playing the most? I know I'm, I used to be an athlete. It's always about the next game. But there's some pretty big games on the schedule. Is there a game that you have circled on, on, the, on the schedule? Honestly, no. Just every game plays the same importance level, uh, whether it's a Tuesday game or it's a weekend series. So, Any personal goals you've made for yourself? You know, Coming in from high school to college, have you had a chance to kind of look at maybe some of the records, uh, maybe some of the things that you've done in the past? Have you made some personal goals for yourself? Uh, no, I haven't. Just to get better every day. Uh, I wasn't aware about the three home runs, that that was a, a record at the nine RBIs. But just kind of playing my game and letting the team do what we do. Have you? Have you Pick the favorite uniform combination. You guys rock a different different uniform every single game, got a lot of different options. Have you kind of set your eyes on one that you really like more than the other? I really like the black jersey. The black jersey with the white pants or even the gray pants. I just like the black jersey. Tennessee fans, from what you've seen so far, man, being here, really, really supportive, really, really serious about their sports. Uh, what are you expecting come conference play from the Tennessee fans? Uh, it's going to be loud. I mean, there was a record, uh, record with, I mean, 5,000 fans, and that feel, felt really loud. And with the capacity we have now, it's going to be, it's going to be loud. Another, another run for, for Tennessee baseball, guys. 
Uh, a lot of talented freshmen. Uh, Dean Curley here starting the year off really, really fast, uh, hitting home runs all over the place. So another year where we follow Tennessee baseball to make another run to the College World Series. There you go. Hey, winning is infectious over there at the Hill. I mean, obviously, the, the men winning the outright championship yeah. in basketball. Tony V's program is at the top of the charts. And then we can't wait for football next fall in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, I'm Lee. I feel like I'm talking to <laughs> Sterling Hinton. Okay, we'll come back. We'll wrap this thing up when we come back. Did that just happen? <laughs> yes. Football. <laughs> Time in Tennessee. The Volunteer Club Locker Room is brought to you by The Volunteer Club. Real Vol fans are members of The Volunteer Club. Matlock Tire, Gray Hodges, Humana, D1 Training, and Aqua Clear Water Systems. At Glass Doctor, our trained specialists are experts at fixing foggy and cracked glass. Looks great. You're all set. What we can't fix? Is your view. Call the glass doctor, we'll fix your pains. Oh, yeah. I'm Dr. Mike Costa, Malone and Costa Dentistry. You can find us at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. I'm standing here in front of a dental robot. We're one of two dentists in the state of Tennessee that utilize this cutting edge technology. Do you have a broken tooth, a tooth that's in pain, or a denture that doesn't fit well? Maybe you're a little anxious? You can come in and we offer comprehensive sedation services and utilize this awesome technology to give you precise, accurate care. If you think this technology can help you, visit our website at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. I look forward to helping you. Knoxville is my home. I was born and raised here, and I was blessed to raise my family here. This community is one that I'm proud to live in and serve every day. At Ted Russell Ford, for over 50 years, we've been Knoxville's hometown dealer. Helping our friends and neighbors own their first car or their dream car or truck has been our absolute pleasure. At Ted Russell Ford Lincoln, we will continue to serve our community. Because East Tennessee, you've always supported us. Thank you. Visit us at one of our two locations on Parkside Drive or Kingston Pike or online at tedrussellford.net. Community banking is about location and much more. It's about family. We reside in your community. We are a part of your community. At Commercial Bank, our commitment extends beyond the walls of our branches. It's displayed each day in the opportunities we provide, the money we give back, and the time we commit, all to help improve the lives of the people, families, and businesses that make our communities great. Commercial Bank, life made better. I was the star around here until Glass Doctor installed this perfect shower enclosure. Now they look at me like, well, there you go. Call the Glass Doctor, we'll fix your pains. Oh, yeah. Okay, so who made it better as we go inside the orange, brought to you by Humana. For the 78th time this year, Dalton Connect gets the Player of the Week award. And why not Jason Swain? Oh, he scored 40 points. <laughs> There's not another candidate. He scored 40 points in the game, all right? Jason, is he the SEC Player of the Year? Oh, come on, man. I, I, I'm, I'm, come on, asking, man. I've asked some dumb I'm things asking, this year. I'm asking okay. Jason We're, Swain, the doctor. We need to have a, a conversation question. about him being National Player of the Year, even though Zach Eady is going to win it. Right. Don Connect should be in a serious conversation. I agree That's how that. great he's been this year. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, he's obviously the SEC Player of the Year. By the way, I'm going to say this as we come back on camera here is uh, – uh, we took a vote. Uh, we want to know, should we talk about the end of the Lady Ball South Carolina game? We all voted no. Thanks Let's not go talk about what happened there. So we're going to move back to the men. Um, so Tennessee opens on Friday. <laughs> There's a double buy for four teams. How do we like the way the draw shapes up for Tennessee? Because of the fact that if it goes chalk, Tennessee and Kentucky could meet on Sunday. Do we think that happens? Or does Auburn, Alabama, South Carolina come in there and mess it all up? Well, you know, we did lose to Mississippi State at Mississippi State, so it's a potential playing Mississippi State in the quarters. I think we, we're we better than Mississippi State. We're going to win that Thanks game. Thanks for clearing that up. But uh, the game against Auburn, if it goes chalk and Auburn beats South Carolina, that's going to be a tough game. Uh, and they're going to have to uh, fight. Either them. one of those teams. Oh, I, I, I think, I think uh, South Carolina is not as potentially dangerous as Auburn, Jason. Who's the best team in the SEC? Tennessee. I don't care who we play. I don't care. Neutral site game. Here we go. Neutral <laughs> site game. Yeah. 
no senior day. Yeah. Senior day comes with a lot of emotions. You had Josiah Jordan James crying like a baby. Yeah. You had Don Connect yeah. holding back tears. You had Santiago yeah. Vescovi with his family in town crying back tears. Uh, You're saying they're motivated? Tears. Like, it's hard to play that and, those and stimulated? It's hard. Yeah, stimulated. <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to bounce back after a senior moment like that. That won't happen in, in the tournament. I agree with that, Jason. I, I've been coaching 25 years collegially at the Division One level. Tell them, Tony. And, and the, the thing is, senior night is very emotional, tough, especially man. for coaches. It's tough. I, 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 Did you cry? I cry every senior Did you really? night. Yeah, every uh, senior okay, night because because of the relationship you have with the players. And those guys had to be emotional. They had all their family they there. Were. And even JJJ said it in the post-game press conference that we didn't come ready to play at the beginning of the game. Was yeah, there ever a time? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, sorry. go ahead. Go ahead. No, was there ever a time when you were coaching at Tennessee and and there was any conversations behind the scenes of the coaching staff of we need to make sure we stay healthy through the SEC tournament. We want to keep our guys fresh through the SEC tournament so that we're ready for the NCAA. Was there ever that conversation or was the conversation you do what it takes to win this tournament. Never. That conversation never occurred. The, the first part of it. Yes. It's all about winning at all costs the SEC tournament. That's bragging rights, and that's competition, and that's getting you ready for the NCAA tournament, the granddaddy of them all. That's the question. I mean, do you, do you, do you want to be fresh as you could possibly be, or do you want to go win the SEC tournament? And if you can win the tournament and still have the legs and still be fine to go out there and, and – compete at a high level and execute and not look like you're worn down physically, then go, go win it. 30 seconds left. Sorry, Tony. Go ahead. If, go you, if, you, if you plan on Sunday and you play in the championship game and then you get the draw of a Thursday, you still got a number of days to prepare. Which is what days. you did all year long. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. A number right. of days to get your leg. And then if you play on Friday. Let's go win it. Let's go do it. Exactly. Okay, 20 seconds left now. Let's go. Uh, football. Spring football. When do we get rolling? We get rolling here pretty soon, don't we? Yeah, we do, man. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Nico take over. We've How do you say the last name? Nico take over. <laughs> I've, been, I've been waiting for Nico to take over. By the way, Nico. I, is it is it is it Iama? It's Nico <laughs> Ali, Aliava. Just say Nico. We all know Nico, who he is. Iama Aliava. That's did your, I just say that? Did that, I did I get it right? That Nico Iama Aliava. Yeah. That's a great way to finish this show. Hard headed. You ain't coaching. Finally got it right. Just kid, say Nico. Can't do it again. Uh, Tennessee in the SEC tournament starting on Friday. That's my cue. We'll talk to you later. Nico.